It is Money Monday, and today we are looking at what to do to keep your finances in order if you're laid off. Yeah, so important. It is so important. Here to walk us through what you need to know is finance expert and influencer who has amassed quite a social media following <laughs> as Mrs. Dow Jones. Welcome, Haley Sachs. So nice to have you here. Thank you so much for having me. I'm excited. So, so I know a lot of people, I know I've dealt with job loss before, mm -hmm. and I think most people have. Mm -hmm. um, it's such a scary thing, obviously, but there is there are things you can do to secure yourself financially. Let's mm -hmm. talk about that. And one of the things you recommend is to actually collect your final payments before you leave the job. What yeah. do you mean by that? Absolutely. So the first thing you want to do when you get laid off is make sure that you are getting your money. Okay. I want you to find out where that last paycheck is. I want you to look at your state and see if you are owed money for unused vacation and sick days. And I want you to look at that employee handbook, probably threw it away and see if you get severance. These are all things you could actually be doing while you still have the job, just yeah. so you're prepared yes. if anything like that happens, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. All right, you also talk about unemployment, and I've had the experience too. It's when there's a job loss, it's chaos, and you're scared, mm -hmm. and there are so many other things to worry about your family, but you say, get on unemployment. Exactly. So the first thing you probably want to do is hide under the covers. Yeah. And that's... But the first thing that you should do after you hear of the job loss is get on that Department of Labor website and file for unemployment. And that's because those checks can take weeks to come. Mm -hmm. So I do not want you to go that long without money. Right. And what's great about the website is that they actually have a calculator. So you can see how much severance you're owed, how long it's going to last for. I also really like their Facebook and Twitter pages. Some good tips on there too. Okay, that's yeah. good to know. Let's also talk, I think when you're younger you don't think of this necessarily as mm -hmm. much, but when you um, have kids or the older you get you kind of think about your insurance. Yes. When you lose your job, a lot of times you lose your insurance. Mm -hmm. So what should people do? Yeah, so when you lose your job, yes, you're going to lose your insurance and you don't want to be uninsured because that's actually going to put you in a worse place financially. If you are uninsured and something happens, you know, that can be a really hard time money wise. So if you are 26 and under or if you are married, you can hop on your spouse and you can hop on your parents plan. So that would be my first choice. But second choice is go to the federal marketplace for health insurance and pick out a plan there. This is a much better option option than going with Cobra from your former employer, which is often very pricey. Very, very expensive. expensive. Right? <laughs> they, they, they both have, Gee, been have you there. done that? Yes. Yes. Right? Because you've got to pay for the administrative right. fees. you got to right. pay for the premium. It's not as cute as when they were doing it. Right. <laughs> I don't know that it was ever cute. <laughs> it was never cute. <laughs> but so, so those, are the, those are the basics. I, I think what you're talking about next is maybe next level stuff. Once, yes. you've, once you've secured all mm -hmm. that, you say call the banks and call your lenders mm -hmm. and see what they can do for you and how willing they are to help you in a situation like this. Yeah, I think that people, when they are going through these hard times, often feel a sense of shame and they want to, you know, keep it to themselves. But A, it's not their fault. It's just a hard time in the economy. And second of all, a lot of these places, these banks and these lenders have you know, payment plans and other stipulations that they can extend to you that will help you get through this time. So don't be shy about reaching out and letting them know that, hey, I need some help. You know, my dad used to say, you don't get anything in life you don't ask for. Exactly. <laughs> so just ask. All yeah, they can say is no. Exactly. Right. And I hope they say yes. <laughs> <laughs> right. Thank you so much, Haley. Thank you. Yes, Mrs. Dow Jones. Mrs. Dow Jones. On great name. Thank you. It's a great name. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.